Hey, what's going on? I'm Bonesicle, and you are looking at Hawken on the PlayStation 4. In this video, I am piloting the Reaper in some more co-op team deathmatch gameplay here. It's not the greatest gameplay, but I do get 13 kills with zero deaths. So hopefully it's not too bad to watch, and even though I do make it out with a 13 kill streak, this was one of my earlier matches, so you'll see me trying unsuccessfully to fly up to some of the higher ledges on this map, but I will get more fluid as I go along, I can promise that, and in fact, this was actually the match where I got my first 10 kill streak to unlock the silver trophy called Overkill. Now, if you want to obtain the Reaper without spending any real money on the red mech credits, you'll need to first purchase the Berserker for 5,000 blue Hawking credits and then the Reaper will become available for you to purchase at the price of 7,000 blue Hawking credits. The Reaper has really good fuel regeneration and pretty good overheating stats. The only bad stats that the Reaper has are its armor and its fuel tank capacity but of course that's just in comparison to the other mechs in the game available at Hawkins console launch and it's really good fuel regeneration rate more than makes up for its tiny fuel tank you just cannot go too crazy boosting continuously other than that all of its other stats are pretty down the middle as far as min maxing goes among the collection of mechs at the moment which actually makes the reaper just a really well-rounded choice the primary weapon, or left-hand weapon, as I prefer to call it, is the anti-mech semi-automatic rifle. And it has somewhat a low rate of fire compared to most other weapons, but that's just a relative comment because it's not a huge issue. And it's more than made up for by its DPS and accuracy. The Amsar boasts 90% accuracy and can be brutal at mid-range distances. On the right hand side, your secondary weapon is the Kinetic Energy Sabo, which is one of the game's two sniper rifles available at launch. You can toggle the zoom function by clicking the right analog, which is how you see me play most of the time that I'm piloting the Reaper. The KE Sabo already comes with 95% accuracy, as well as excellent range and heat management. The DPS is low, but that's just because the rate of fire is really low, and of course, the rate of fire affects the calculation of damage per second, but when you do fire off a shot, it's got a delicious punch to it, so don't let that low DPS make you think that it does a low amount of damage. And of course, every mech has a special ability that can be activated when you tap the X button. For the Reaper, your special ability is to increase your accuracy for a brief amount of time, which sounds nice, but honestly, with weapons that already have 90 and 95% accuracy, I feel like if you can't hit your target, then a lack of weapon accuracy isn't the problem. It doesn't bother me that I don't even think about activating the Reaper's special most of the time. Once per life, you can tap the square button to fire off a detonator missile, and when you do, you can hit the square button a second time to detonate it mid-flight if you want it to explode before it actually hits something. I actually fired mine off very early in the video, and since I don't die, I don't have another one to shoot off. This is actually the same item that the Neef has, in case you're a PlayStation Plus member and have any experience using the Neef as your mech. Although on the Neath, you fire the detonator missile with the triangle button, whereas it's the square button item for the Reaper. The Reaper's triangle button item is the blockade, which is an impassable wall that will be destroyed after taking its share of damage, but it can be enough to keep an enemy mech and its bullets from getting to you while you make a needed escape. Basically, that's the way I usually use it. Uh, if I find myself in a pickle jam with the Reaper and I'm about to die, I have that oh crap moment where I tap the triangle and retreat, although honestly most of the time it's too late for me by that point and I die anyway, but it definitely has helped me out quite a few times, not shown here in this video. The Reaper's passive abilities, its internals, are the basic replenisher and the basic armor fuser, which both are based on you getting kills. 
The Replenisher causes your special ability to cool down faster when you get kills, which personally doesn't mean all that much to me since, like I said, the Reaper's special ability is increasing the already stellar accuracy of your weapons, and I forget to even use it, but the Armor Fuser is amazing. It basically causes you to regenerate health each time you kill an enemy. If you can get on a long kill streak and not take too much damage in the process, you won't even need to duck off to repair because of the simple fact that you're still getting kills pretty much repairs you automatically. Of course, if you're not getting kills, then neither of the Reaper's internals are going to do anything for you. Now, at Hawkins console launch, there are apparently major differences between the older PC version and what we've got here on the PS4. Do remember that because this is a free-to-play game it is very possible that future updates will change some of the things that you've seen or heard me say or may have already changed them if you're watching this video long after it was posted but the match is over and so is my commentary hope you enjoy the game as much as i do thanks a lot for watching the video